Hi, this is Pat and Bonnie with the Pat Bolger Realty Group. Today we want to talk about the Green Bay Packers. Oh. And I know you're saying, Bolger, how are you qualified to talk about the Green Bay Packers? Well, those of you who may or may not know this is Bonnie Blackburn here. Her grandfather was the Packers head coach before Vince Lombardi. So that makes us qualified. <laughs> so anyway, um, I, I'm a little upset. You know, I, I, for years I was alone, I felt like the lone wolf here talking about how horrible Ted Thompson was and what bad shape the Packers were in and what a horrible job he was doing. Mm -hmm. the, the, as I said many times, the, the local media, you know, the, the Dan Needles of the world and all these guys seemed to sit there and just gush over Ted Thompson like he was wonderful mm -hmm. and things. And then when people would say something, they would just like shut him down and... Um, Anyway, my, my premise always was is that Ted was doing a horrible job, especially, you know, not looking at free agents, things like that, right. you know, doing his draft thing, you know. Forget about draft, draft and develop. He drafted them, he invited every uh, non-drafted free agent in, and if you could play, they threw you out there and stuff, you know. And, yeah. and, it, and poor Aaron Rodgers, we have a, a Hall of Fame quarterback surrounded by a bunch of guys that were never never going to be good enough to uh, help him win the, uh, the Super Bowl. And then if things did go wrong, they blamed Aaron, for, you know, right, and, and stuff. And then if things went right, everybody took credit. So Here we are again. Yeah, so anyway, so this off season we make a change, we get Golden Colst. I think is that is that yeah, his name? Yeah. And and um and, and he starts off to do some good stuff. He, he all of a sudden he's inviting free agents in. And that's what you want. Don't you want a, a general manager that's looking at, you know, these guys, these guys that, I mean, not everybody doesn't have to be Reggie White, okay? I mean, these guys that are out there that can play football, that have proven they can play football, and they have film on them, in my opinion, are a lot more valuable than, you know, some kid coming out of some college that's never, you know, you know, never Proved played before. Whatever, exactly. Right, right. Yeah, you mean mm -hmm. guys that play that they, they've proven already they can, can play. Well, you know, we, we have two first round draft choices in the draft, and and the Raiders, for whatever reason, are going to put a Cleo Mack up uh, and trade him. One of the best players in the whole NFL. You know, a game changer. You know, arguably the first or second best defensive player. But still, probably top five in the mm -hmm. NFL, mm -hmm. right? You know, and did I tell you that the Packers can't rush the passer? No, we, no, we haven't you, that no, we can't rush the passer. We haven't been able to for a while, you know. And uh, you know, poor Clay Matthews. They took our best with under Thompson. We had to take our best pass rusher and make him into an inside linebacker. <laughs> you know, well, things that. Yeah. But he's he's older yeah. now. He's yeah. banged up. He's not yeah. getting in there, you know. And, and they haven't really done much. And, and we got a young defensive backfield and, and some linebackers, which is getting better, but not quite there yet. You know what they really needed? I, I was surprised we weren't going to try to get some pass rushers, some edge rushers. So anyway. Um, Jordy Nelson, well, not to mention him. Anyway, so so but anyway, it's so Cleo Mack. The Raiders are do one of the stupidest things in the world, and they decide they're going to let Cleo Mack go. Mm -hmm. And everybody in the world, the Las Vegas people, everybody thinks, hey, listen, this is the Packers. They got two first round draft choices they can trade for 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 Cleo Mack. And uh, unfortunately, we don't do it. You know. And, um, you know, the, the reason they always say, well, geez, we just signed Aaron Rodgers to a big contract. We could, oh, baloney. Listen, the Green Bay Packers are the most profitable franchise in the whole damn NFL. They got a little town. Uh, our stadium isn't in L.A. or, you know, whatever, in New York, you know, it's on some expensive real estate. It's in Green Bay, Wisconsin. And we, by the way, we don't have an owner, <laughs> you know, so there's a lot of money there. It's yeah. very, very profitable. <laughs> and they haven't been putting out a lot of money except for Aaron for the last God knows how many years anyway. And uh, and by the way, Aaron, what is he? Thirty-five years old now. So yeah, so, yeah you know, maybe if he plays till he's 50, uh, forty, rather, we got maybe a four to five year window left with Aaron Rodgers. You know, before we don't have another, we, where we don't have a Hall of Fame quarterback anymore. So we don't we don't have all the time in the world. So to me, it made sense. Is geez, if you if you knew for sure that you could give two first rounders away to get a Hall of Famer, wouldn't you do it? Of course you would, for God's sakes, right? You know, and uh, the Packers don't do it. He ends up going to the Bears, 
Yeah. And they must have even had a strike of deal because not only did the Bears they give them two first rounders, but they get a second round back. Heck, you know the Packers' first round draft choices are so far back they're like second rounds anyway. You know, for God's sake. So in essence, we could have probably given up one draft choice. And getting Cleo Mack would have made us a little, a literally given us an opportunity to contend for the Super Bowl. And trust me, folks, we can't now. And we're not going to this year. And if they draft two first rounders next year, with then look at the last ten years. Pull up, you Google, it, pull up who they've got drafted in the last ten or fifteen years outside of Aaron Rodgers and Clay Matthews. It's not a very impressive list. Mm -hmm. These guys don't do very well drafting. Nobody really does. It's hit or miss, unless you're Bill Belichick. It's really hit or miss. You know, um, it's a lottery shot. So. So imagine if you knew, would you be a fool if you knew you could get a Hall of Famer for two, pack, for two draft picks, unproven guys? Mm -hmm. You'd be a fool not to take it, good and cost. So anyway, the guy I like is Mark Chimura, it seems like the lone voice out in the wilderness who's saying the same thing, he's saying, what were you guys thinking? You would have been, you know, set for the next six years if you'd have taken this, you know. And then some cartoonist wrote a great cartoon, they, they had Gunnikov sitting in his office thinking, geez, I got two first round draft picks. Think of all the possibilities, think of the endless possibilities, <laughs> options. Heck, I could even maybe end up with Cleo Mack, <laughs> you know, he does, but he doesn't do it, you know. Go to cuss. Come on, don't be an idiot. Anyway, so unfortunately, I love the Green Bay Packers. I love Aaron Rodgers. I love a lot of stuff. But you know, I look at the schedule and I don't, I don't see us winning eight games this year, guys. You know, and in, unfortunately, that means that they're probably going to let Mike McCarthy go. And I don't know; it's his fault. He's got to play with the cards he's dealt. But let's hope I'm wrong. So, but, uh, you know. Stay tuned, huh? Right, yeah, yeah. But, uh, you know, Packer Nation, if you guys, you got to put the heat on these guys. You got to be vocal because the press here, for whatever reason, they, they just sit there and, and they suck up to these guys. And they don't, you know, if you're in Philadelphia or Chicago or whatever, they put heat on a management to try to do something. Not, not that it matters that much, really, but, you know, for God's sakes, for many years, they're talking about putting a statue of Ted Thompson up there. And, and the poor guy, you know, his time's should be down as the, the, the squandered years. This is Pat and Bonnie. If you're thinking about buying or selling a house, please give us a call. We're number one in Lake Country for a reason. And uh, if you want to talk football, give me a call. I'm happy to talk to you about it anytime I want. Thanks for listening. Bye now.